Los Mormons fled their homes in rural Mexico today after the brutal killing of nine family members last week. About 100 people left that violent area. This was just hours after the last victim's funeral. Three women and six children were murdered during a drug cartel ambush. Despite the violence, some of the victim's relatives have vowed to stay put. When we face a tragic event like this, we don't run for it. We seek answers. We try to solve it. The murders have shed new light on the increasing violence just south of the U.S.-Mexico border where 14 police officers were killed in western Mexico last month alone and another 14 were killed in a gun battle while trying to capture a cartel leader. Well, meteorologist Molly Coates is joining us now. And Molly, I feel like we've been on a weather roller coaster. Yesterday, freezing. Today is beautiful. And then tomorrow, a whole other story. I know. It's right. We're going from fall to like straight up winter in a yes. matter of 24 hours. It's crazy. <laughs> but we'll take you to what's happening right now. Temperatures are into the 40s. And we won't drop too much as we head throughout the overnight hours. And then we will stay mainly dry for the majority of the night. And then an isolated shower, too, will be possible closer to sunrise just ahead of that front that will be moving into the Miami Valley. This is what we are tracking. It will gain strength and move towards the Miami Valley and bring snowfall. In fact, the first snowfall of the year. Let's go ahead and time it out for you hour by hour right now on Futurecast. Right around 9 a.m., this is where we start to see the light rain showers move into the Miami Valley. As we take you through the afternoon hours, this is when the colder air will sweep in and transition all this over into snow showers. You can see right around dinner time hours and getting the kids from the after school activities, we are dealing with widespread snow across the Miami Valley. So it's really important that you stay weather aware and download the free WHIO weather app. As we time it out for you, the overnight hours, that system will slowly exit, but we will still keep the chance for some showers to keep snow showers into the overnight hours. And then as we look towards Tuesday, some lake effect snow flurries will be possible for the afternoon and evening time and temperatures will drop. Now as far as snow totals, you can expect along south I-70 and south to be right around one to two inches. Where we see that snow transition quicker, we especially in the far northern portions of the Miami Valley, we could see isolated higher total, totals than that. So just be sure to just keep that in mind. And due to the first snowfall of the season and it being accumulative and just with the amounts, a winter weather advisory has been issued for places such as North of I-70. It's going to go in effect 10 a.m. on Monday and last until 2 p.m. or 4 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Temperatures will fall through the 30s tomorrow. It will be very cold once that colder air filters in, so you will definitely need the layers because that colder air will be here to stay. In fact, as we look towards Wednesday morning, bitter cold temperatures will be in store. In fact, we will see temperatures into the upper teens, and that will be really important. And those colder temperatures temperatures are looking to last even throughout the last of the week. And I'm going to show you that temperature trend here. Average is right around 54 degrees. Tuesday's 27. We have the potential to break some records there. The record was set in 1920 at 30 degrees. Wednesday still very cold. And the five-day forecast for you after those flurries move out on Tuesday, we will see those colder temperatures into the teens there on Wednesday. And we will see some sunshine looking dry for Thursday and Friday. Don't forget to tune in to meteorologist Kirsty Zantini. She's going to have the latest on the system moving in on Veterans Day. Well, changes are coming to the former GM plant in Lordstown, the deal that went through last week, and what's set to go in the building. Well, the Bengals rookie didn't have much fun in his first real game. The Browns figured a few things out for the hometown fans in Cleveland. Thanks to a little luck from the opposing team, sports is up next. Stay right there.